Le Creuset Lodge Staub Cuisinart Martha Stewart Dutch ovens. Hey, sweeties. We are talking all about Dutch ovens and what makes them so special. First of all, what is a Dutch oven? Let's get into all of that and more. But first, please subscribe to Sweet Savant. Hit that thumbs up, that notification bell. And now let's talk about Dutch ovens and what makes them so special. A Dutch oven is a pot with thick walls, a tight fitting lid, usually made of cast iron, seasoned cast iron, but it could be made from aluminum or other materials. But when you get down to the very basics of it, this is a Dutch oven. It's usually uh, fairly wide and not as tall, maybe half as tall as it is wide. Let me put this down and talk about these. These are French ovens. So once you take a Dutch oven and you coat it with enamel on the outside and on the inside, it becomes a French oven. And I believe Le Creuset came up with the term. This is a Le Creuset a uh, Dutch oven, French oven. But the term French oven just has not stuck here in the US of A. <laughs> so while it is technically a, these are French ovens, all of these beautiful, colorful, enamel coated, cast iron pots are French ovens. We refer to them as Dutch ovens. You can see that these Dutch ovens, French ovens, come in a wide variety of colors. So that is also a huge bonus. You get to sort of play around with fun colors and enhance your decor. But the coating, it's enamel, which is really a glass, a type of glass. It makes it easier to clean. Um, not like a Teflon non-stick, but pretty darn non-stick with that natural glass coating. And it's an inert uh, finish, so the foods don't absorb, um, the odors from your foods and flavors don't absorb into that glass coating. And it also keeps the metal, these are all cast iron, keeps that cast iron from interacting with your more acidic foods like tomato sauce, um, citrus, red wine. So you don't have to worry about um, when you are making a big stew and say uh, a traditional cast iron pot of any of that um, metallic taste, uh, discoloring or affecting the flavor of your food. So that's what makes um, that coating so special. And you'll see like with many of them, you have this light coating with some Le Creuset. Sorry, Le Creuset. I have to always remember because I mispronounce it all the time. Le Creuset has that light sand colored coating, but you'll see on say their skillets and such a darker coating, which is what Staub uses. So this is Staub also you know, made in France, Le Creuset is made in France, Staub is made in France. Staub has this dark coating with a little more of a pebbly finish and that promotes better browning than the lighter colored, the more smoother, lighter colored. So this darker color gives you uh, a better browning experience when you're cooking with that. So that's one difference, but they're both enamel coated. So what else makes Dutch ovens special? Well, Dutch ovens are perfect for braising or making stews because they hold in the heat and the moisture. 
and you get a nice long slow cooked giving you tender succulent meats and vegetables you always want to make sure that the lid you know, fits nice and securely like all of these are a little bit different you'll see on the stub it has this pebbly knobbly protrusions on the top and that helps to rain that moisture back down on your food whereas most of these don't have that type of finish that's smooth dutch ovens are also perfect for deep frying you want something with a higher side to keep that oil from splattering all over the place and use a splatter guard too that helps a lot and also baking breads you get a nice crusty bread baked in a dutch oven and i'll be posting more dutch oven cooking recipes for you so make sure you check the description box and follow along with that what do you want to look for when you're purchasing a dutch oven you want something with a nice wide bottom something like this look for say and you can see this is the 5.5 quart you can see how wide that is across the bottom and these are all sort of different sizes varying between four quarts and six quarts the main difference between something like the Le Creuset and this lodge is while this lodge is six quarts, if you look at the bottom, the bottom part is pretty small. So while you have a nice six quart volume, that bottom is small. And that means when you are browning your meats or sauteing your vegetables, you're gonna have to work in more batches. So where are these? Are about the same volume you have much more surface area in the Le Creuset than you do in the lodge you also want something with a nice wide loop handle because these are heavy and they're going to be hot so you want something where you can grab onto them with oven mitts or uh, um, pot holders so that you're not going to burn yourself but you want a nice wide loop handle like this, and this is a small stop, but you see the handles on these are quite small. And you don't want those little tab handles that you can't get your fingers up and through. Those, not good at all. You can't get a good grip. This Martha Stewart is a lower cost. I paid, I bought this on sale for, for $78, regular $200. So it's got a decent wide bottom and it's got those good loop handles. So lower cost than the Le Creuset, look for it on sale. We'll talk about saving money on these as well. The quality of this is not as good as something like a Le Creuset or a Staub. Um, the top, when you press down on it, it's not, uh, there's, there's a lot of rocking in there. It doesn't fit securely as these do. That's okay. There's a little play in that one. None in this none in that but you want a secure lid because you want those uh the juices the liquid the moisture to stay inside and not evaporate so if that lid is not fitting properly then it's not going to work the way that it should so you do get what you pay for how much do dutch ovens cost the le creuset the staub are your more expensive this one, regular price, the Le Creuset 5.5 quart is around $350. You can find them at Williams Sonoma, uh, Sur La Table. Um, you can find the Staub online, but also at Williams Sonoma and Sur La Table. Also runs in that $350 to $400 range for uh, four or five or uh, six quart sizes. You're less expensive, and there are a wide variety of um, enamel coated cast iron. This, the lodge is easy to find on Amazon. It's about $80 for this six quart. But again, it has that very narrow bottom. But if that's not an issue for you, go for it. The price difference, $80, $350, it's huge. The Cuisinart, it's a great shape. It's got a nice wide loop handle. 
with a wide bottom. Uh, I paid $109 for this on Amazon. And the larger one, the set, this is uh, five quarts. At the seven quart, which is if you need a really large Dutch oven, the seven quart might do. And I just checked the prices on those and they were about $92. So even less than the five quart. I don't know why, but it is what it is. So if you're looking for a lower cost, that Cuisinart might be the one for you. The Martha Stewart, like I said, the lid is not particularly, uh, there's a little warped, there's a little warp in there. I don't know if they're all like that, that's just this one, but I ordered it from Macy's. It was on sale, um, but the to go back to May, I ordered it online the whole return policy and everything. Make sure you check those return policies. I'd have to send it back and get another one and I decided just to keep this one for demonstration purposes. Um, it's got a nice shape. The um, regular price was $199. So it's uh, sort of on the expensive side. Definitely wait for a sale. These are oven safe to about 500 degrees, but check with the manufacturers to be sure. And they all work on induction, gas, and electric stovetops. You wanna save money? So always, I think, look for clearance sales. I purchased this Le Creuset years ago at Williams Sonoma. While the regular price was about $350, I paid $140. I just happened to stop in and this was on clearance and you better believe I grabbed it real quick. So you never know when you might walk up on a sale. So be prepared. That was a great price. Staub clearance online. Go to Zwilling.com and look for Staub on clearance. I bought this on clearance. Regular price is 300. Hang on. Yes, the regular price for this four quart cocotte is $309. I paid $119 at the Staub clearance, um, Zwilling.com. And they say there may be some minor imperfections. I can't tell. I couldn't find the imperfections at all. So great price. When you're buying on clearance, sometimes you have to just get whatever colors they have. So it can be difficult if you have a color scheme in mind. Also, another good idea is Amazon used. I bought this Lodge, which they're already inexpensive, running about $80, but I bought this used in very good condition and it was $58. And when I tell you it was, you can't tell that it was used. There's no sign that anyone cooked in this um, Dutch oven. Came in its original box. The box had a little bit of damage, but there was no damage or scorches or any problem with this um, Lodge Dutch oven and I saved over $20 buying it in used very good condition. Um, the Cuisinart, why well, I bought this um, at regular price. The seven quart one seems to be on sale a lot. The seven quart tends to be cheaper than this five quart. But beware, mm -hmm. I have only had this Cuisinart for a couple of uh, months and there's already a chip in the enamel. Mm, no good. I'm not real happy about that. Uh, so you got to be very careful when you're storing these. You want to make sure you put either a felt or a kitchen towel or something. Um, if you're going to store it and stack it, put some type of kitchen towel. Do I have a kitchen towel? Yeah. You can put some kind of kitchen towel and then you can turn this upside down and maybe stack. You might want to put a kitchen towel underneath that too so that you're not chipping the enamel. And then you're able to stack it safely and not chip your enamel. The warranty on something like a Le Creuset is, I believe it's a lifetime warranty. I'll have to check to make sure, but they stand behind their products. The warranties on some of the other ones, a little shaky. So always check the warranty policy and always check the return policy. That's the most important thing because you don't want to pay $100, $200, $300 and have an issue and not be able to return. So always check those return policies. 
Now you might be asking yourself, which should I get? Should I get the Le Creuset or the Staub? Now, both of them are relatively similar in price and both of them are great quality. You're not gonna go wrong either way. It really does come down to personal preference. Now, for me, I do prefer that the Le Creuset has the lighter colored interior. Now you can see there, if you're making a roux and you're trying to get it that perfect peanut butter shade, you're gonna be able to monitor it much easier in this lighter, sandier colored um, Le Creuset interior than you will in the darker Staub interior. Again, both will do a fantastic job, but that's something that I think is really, really important. So I do prefer the Le Creuset for that reason. Now, you do get a nicer browning effect when you use this darker interior of the Staub when you're making a, something like browning short ribs or lamb shank, something like that but it'll just take a little bit longer in the Le Creuset to get that same deep brown color. Not by much though. So all in all, I think the Le Creuset is a better product, but again, that's just personal preference. I also prefer the range of colors that Le Creuset comes in. They have a pink one, oh my goodness. Not that I need another <laughs> Dutch oven, but that pink one is calling my name. If you want to see me do a head-to-head -head battle between the Le Creuset and the Staub Dutch oven, please leave me a comment and let me know. We'll bake some bread, make some stew. Oh, it'll be good. Now, let's talk about the less expensive Dutch ovens, the Lodge, the Martha Stewart, and Cuisinart. If I had to choose one, I would choose Lodge. The price is just right at $78 at this time. And again, prices vary, so make sure you double check that. At $78, it's a great price. Again, look for it as a like new, used like new, and you can get it for even less. I purchased this for $58 used like new and it is indeed like new. It has that similar sandy colored interior. I do wish the bottom was a little bit wider so you wouldn't have to cook in as many batches, but all in all, it's a good product. Nice wide handles and a nice large six quart capacity. The Martha Stewart usually sells for about $200 at this time, which is much too much for this kind of quality. So I can't recommend it. If you find it on sale, which I think frequently it does go on sale around the holidays for 60, 70, $80, something like that, maybe give it a shot. But um, at $200, it's not a good buy. The Cuisinart comes in, it's five quarts, and look, I've only had this a couple of months and that's chipped already. <laughs> not a good sign. Um, it's got a nice uh, capacity. The five quart is a little smaller than the rest of them. It also comes in a seven quart size, has the sandy colored interior. But all in all, I'm gonna say not my favorite um, for quality. The price is okay, the quality is mm. So I'm gonna go with the Lodge as being a best buy for your less expensive enamel coated cast iron Dutch oven. Please subscribe to Sweet Savant, hit that thumbs up, that notification bell, and y'all have a delicious day.